Hello and welcome back. In this video, I am going to explain how we can filter the events that will be displayed on our calendars. So I'm going to use the Event Calendar Maker Excel template. And then this template is used to create customized calendars using your own event data. And there are seven different calendar designs that will be automatically created for you. And it can handle one-time events or recurring events. There are, there are lots of additional features in this template. However, sometimes you may have a lot of events in your data. And when you view the calendar, you may want to control only certain events to display. And it should be easy for you to create even more customized calendars, selecting only the events that you want to display. So in this video, I will explain how you can easily do that. Okay, so I have the template open now and I have already entered a few pieces of information. So we are going to retain the basic settings such as the, uh, this is going to be a calendar for 2016 and it begins in January and the weeks will begin with Sundays and then there is a name. So I'm not changing any of that. I have added four event types. These are the names of the four event types and I've assigned each one to one of the colors. And there are other videos in the cha YouTube channel which will explain more basic how to enter the data into this template and all that. So I'm going to skip those things and I'm going to focus only on filtering events. So we have these four event types created. And then in the events sheet, I have already created four events. And I have assigned each one to one of those event types. And then all of them start from 1st January all the way through 31st December and all of them are weekly events. So the first one will happen every Monday, next one every Tuesday, and every Wednesday, every Thursday. That's it, this, this is our event data that we're going to deal with. And in order to see how the calendar is displayed, we go to the yearly, and you can see that the um, calendar will be displayed in this way, where the blue, brown, green, and lavender are four different event types, and they happen on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, throughout. Okay, this is great. Now, when I want to print or export this calendar design, I want to be able to only see one specific event type. For example, I want to only see meetings. How can I do that? So that's what we're going to do in this video. So we have a column called active, and this is what we're going to use to filter out um, active uh, or inactive events so that they don't display on the calendar. So if you're doing just one event, it's always possible that you can go and say no. And now let's go because this is a meetings event type that we have disabled. So when we go there, you will see that the Monday event, those are not colored anymore with blue because we have deactivated that specific event. So that's fine if you do only one, um, if you want to filter only one specific event, that works. But what if I have multiple events of meetings and I want to go, I mean, you can definitely go into each one and then try to do this, but I'm going to explain a way which can handle any number of events. So we're gonna write a formula in this column to be able to do that. So before I go to the formula, the first thing I'm gonna do is to select the active column I'm going to go to the data validation. So it can it can handle the value of no. And what I'm going to do now for the demonstration of this, I'm going to type in yes. I'm going to click on apply and then hit okay. So now this column can accept yes and no both. And now I'm going to write a formula here in this column. And before I do that, let's make sure that I can hide these things because those are not relevant for our example. And in this column, I'm going to write a formula. So I'm going to click on equals if the first thing I'm going to do is if you want to display only one certain type of event. So I'm going to select event type equals open quotes meetings comma. So if it is meetings, I want that event to display. So yes, comma, otherwise put no, close, that's it. So now you can see that this is automatically now putting yeses and nos based on our formula logic. And one thing, uh, you if you get this error message, it just means that you have to um, lock these cells 
you can do that or you can choose to ignore that also but now what this has done is automatically put yes and no in the active column and we have said meetings event type should be displayed it's active so let's go there you will now see that only the meetings event type will be shown on the calendar let's go back and you can obviously replace the meetings with something else if you only want to see holidays you can come in here type in holidays hit enter and all the cells will be automatically updated and now only the holiday event type will be displayed so this is great if you want to only choose one specific event type and let's th think about the opposite so i don't want holidays i want everything else so all you have to do is to change the yes and no hit enter and then let's go here and now you will see all the three other event types except the holiday so this is the opposite so so far we have seen how you can display one specific event type or how you can filter out one specific event type that's great now what if i want to select multiple so let's think about the uh, um, scenario where i want meetings and offsite to be displayed so what I'm going to do now is to edit this formula and say or condition. So if the event type is meetings, comma, event type is offsite, close parenthesis. So basically we have entered an or logic here, which would say if it's meetings or offsite, then Let's say we want those to be displayed. So I'm going to choose yes, and we are gonna choose no here. So now what's gonna happen is meetings and offsite will be chosen as yes. So when I go here, I will see only those two event types on the calendar. And you can definitely reverse this and say, I only want to, I don't want to see meetings and offsite. I want to see everything else. So then now we go, we see the other event types. So this is how you can write a simple formula to control which events will be displayed on the calendar. And that is the purpose of this active column. It is designed to be flexible. So you can write a formula, you can just choose one and say no, um, you, you have more control over how uh, which events should be displayed on the calendar now if you're going to create a new event let's say i'm going to create a new one called event 5 and i'm going to choose this as offsite now see what happens is automatically this event will be set as not active and so which means that it will not be displayed so even when i do this say this is a weekly this is going to happen every friday but when we go there fridays will not be highlighted so that's what this is but let's say if i change this to a holiday and now you see the whole fridays being colored with green so this is how the template works uh, and um, the active field could be used for this purpose so now that's what i wanted to cover in this video if you have any further questions about how to filter events in um, the Calendar Maker Excel template, please let me know in the comments and I'll be very happy to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching this video.